for the best day of the year. It must be Ah, oh, jeez. You're gonna heat up this place for that bird and it's 103 degrees outside? Well, how else am I gonna cook it, Vern? Hell, I don't know. I wonder why you have to cook it at all. I could be fixing steaks out on the barbecue. It'd be a hell of a lot cooler in here. Well, if you bought the bigger air conditioner like I told you when the old one went out, it would be cooler in here. You saying I'm cheap? I didn't say that, but since you brought it up, Damn it, boy. I hope we're not gonna have to listen to your griping all day. Why don't you be nice, Donnie coming and all? Oh, Donnie. Oh, you think the light shines out of his eyes. Well, how else do you suppose I'm gonna speak to my son? He's the only one who really cares about me. Oh, yeah. I suppose that's why you're dragging that sorry bird out of the freezer in July. Like he really cares. Well, I want Donnie to have a nice Christmas. So whatever happened to having it at Christmas? Couldn't afford the gas. Him only working three days a week. Oh, yeah. I suppose we better not go into why he's only working three days a week. You're being too hard on him. You know, he's had some tough breaks. Oh, oh, you mean like being in jail for not paying his five traffic tickets? Or uh, having his new car repossessed because he hadn't made the payments? Yeah, tough breaks. You're being mean. I'd soon straighten him out if he was my son. Oh, what do you know about having kids? You never had any. Yeah, damn right. Sooner have a dog. Oh, how can you say that? Oh, that's easy. Take one look at your kid and I know I made the right choice. Uh, well, it isn't all bad. Me and Donnie had some good times. Mm. Oh, if you don't count the uh, trips to juvenile hall and paying bail. <laughs> Disneyland, Knott's Berry Farm. You never had to make sacrifices like I did. Oh, is that it? The sum total of your sacrifices is Disneyland and not Berry Farm? <laughs> well, at least you didn't stand in the way of your five marriages before me. <sighs> What'd that go in there for? Why I married you, Vern Curtis? Uh, something about twenty thousand in credit card debts, if I remember right. <laughs> and but maybe I was just one of your habits, huh? And didn't I pay you back from my casino job? Oh, that you did, Margine. That you did. Pity you got the gambling bug before you quit. Hmm, that cost me another ten thousand. Why do you always bring that up? Seems like you needed reminding. And it wasn't ten thousand. It's only ninety-seven hundred. I you just like to argue. Oh, uh, we don't argue. We bicker. It's your entertainment. Like watching baseball or something. I watch baseball. I know that. Oh, forget it. We can't even have a civil conversation without you turning it into something negative. I'd rather focus on the positive things. Oh, you mean uh, forget the negative ones, don't you? Donnie, we had some good times when I was doing theater. Theater? Oh, you're about all the theater I can take. He helped me rehearse my lines, sat in the front row every performance, told me he was so proud of me. Yeah, well, maybe if he'd spend more time on his learning, he'd be earning a decent wage. He could help his mother out instead of the other way around. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm sure. Yeah, well, I do. <sighs> okay, so he didn't make it here for Christmas. What about Valentine's Day? That damn bird came out of the freezer again. You even made a chocolate cake. Well, chocolate cake is Donnie's favorite. So where was he then? You know very well. When they took away his new car, he had to go get his old car back from his cousin Joe, who'd given him next to nothing for it. Then Donnie found out the brakes were shot from that dang fool, cruising around town, racing around like a maniac. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll give you that. that. That was unfortunate. Wasn't he supposed to be here for Easter? Remember, it was raining heavy Easter. He didn't want to have to drive the 15 in a bad rainstorm. Oh, no, of course not. 
No, it, it doesn't matter if it puts us out. Meantime, the damn bird's jumping in and out of the freezer like a clown on a pogo stick. Ha <laughs> bird, I do believe you made it funny. Huh. See you making chocolate cake. So? Nothing. What the hell is that? New recipe I'm trying. <laughs> oh, if you think I'm going to eat that, you can think again. Well, you can please yourself, Vern, but uh, I'm not making it for you. Oh, of course, for Donnie. Refresh my memory. What was his excuse for Mother's Day? Ah. <laughs> well, he... He met the girl of his dreams, he told me, and they were going to Tijuana for the weekend. Yeah, yeah, who obviously comes before you? Don't, no, Bert, please don't. <sighs> okay, so here we are. Fourth of July, and Bird's out of the freezer again. You really think he's coming? Maybe, maybe you should wait till he walks through that door. Well, he promised me he'd come this time. Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe. <laughs> if we don't get botulism or, or some other crust in this bird, it'll be a miracle. Well, I heard it's okay as long as there's still ice crystals on the food. Oh, well, that's comforting. I'll remember that when I'm throwing up at 3 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> at what point do you make the decision to throw that bird back in the freezer? Before or after Donnie hasn't turned up? Well, he would have phoned by now, wouldn't he? Maybe. Or maybe a UFO came down and whisked him away for exploratory research. Him being such a fine example of humanity. No, you really do talk a lot of nonsense at times, Vern. Are you sure you're not losing it? I might be better off at that. Alzheimer's might be as good as a vacation. Oh, jeez. Look at this sorry mess. There's more crud on this crap than there is out there in the damn desert. Well, I try to keep it clean, but there's just there's just so much dust, and, and and it don't help living out here in this godforsaken place while the wind blows dirt inside every time we open the door. This place is just too hard to keep clean. Yeah, well, this is where we are. This is where we're staying. It was good enough for you when I paid off all your debts. You're harping again. It's too damn expensive living in town. You just have to get used to it. Sure. You're just waiting to get rid of me. <sighs> waiting for me to die. You'd probably bury me in that desert out there, wouldn't you? Oh, God. Now, who's talking rot? You got no call to talk to me like that, Marjean. I, I do the best I can. My, my pension only goes so far. Yeah, there's always enough for beer, though. Jesus. One six-pack a week isn't exactly living the high life. Of course, I, uh, I could uh, take myself off to Vegas, I suppose, like some I know, and you know, chance my pension on the blackjack tables. That's a dig at me, Vernon. Oh, oh. Take it back right back now. Back off, girl. Now, back off. You could do some damage for that thing. I, uh... Sometimes I really hate you. I haven't been to the casino since I quit work, and you know it. I know it. I know it. I, I didn't say it was you came to my well, head. Well, it then? Well, no, 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 never mind. I wish I'd never left California. All my friends are in California. Everyone I know is in California. Donnie's in California. I should have stayed there and now I'll go home all paid for. Uh, you weren't making it there either. Sometimes I don't like you very much. Look, if it's too damn hard to, to, to keep this place clean, then what do you keep this crap out for? I wanted Donnie to have a nice Christmas. <sighs> Christmas in July. Can you believe this? Somebody passing. That's it. 
That's it. What are you doing? Giving this bird the funeral it deserves. Bird, no, no. Marjane, get off me. No, that's not a Christmas turkey. Yeah, Christmas my ass. Guess there's always Arbor Day. <laughs> When's that uh, chocolate cake going to be ready? <laughs>